Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Where you see yourself on this sign? You said American Black? All praises. All praises. What we're going on right now, sis, we're trying to we're trying to show you how important it is to know that you are from the tribe of Judah. You're not American Black, all right? You're not African American. Because African and American, they meant to two different white men. Stay in the front, sis. Stay in the front. You ain't got to be nervous. And we your brothers, all right? We your brothers, sis. So you, you ain't got to be nervous. Say what? It's all right, though, sis. Let's, let's, let, me, let me show you something about... Hey, sis, it's all for edification. It's all for edification, all right? But let me show you something about the nation of Israel and the tribe of Judah. We'll read Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 76. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Hey, bro, you come around here and listen to this, too. Come here, come here real fast. Let me show you something about the so-called blacks and Hispanics in Native America, right? Look at this sign real fast. Hey, how you doing, bro? You doing all right? All praise, all praises. But we're just going over the nation of Israel. But watch this real, real fast. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God said the nation of Israel is a holy people unto him. Watch. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So God said the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, and the Native American are a special people unto himself. Read. Right. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said we are above the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man, the, the Japanese man. He said we are above every other nation on this planet earth today. And he said you from the tribe of Judah, man. Watch this. Let me get uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. This is the history they're not going to teach you in the schools. If you go to college, they're not going to teach you this. No matter if you go to church, they're not going to teach you this. This is the true history. They, they've been hiding from it for a long time. Watch this. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident. Now, when they say it is evident, that means what? It's surely. It's no shadow of a doubt, right? Read it again. For it is evident, evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Now, it says it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who is our Lord today? Who is our Lord? God, who is our Lord, bro? Who is our Lord? Yeah, who is our Lord? God, what you say, sis? Jesus is our Lord. Y'all all agree, right? Christ is our Lord, right? Read it again. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ is our Lord, right? You see yourself on this side? Right, you from, you from the same tribe, right? Judah, right? He said Christ came from the tribe of Judah. So Christ would walk on the earth today, he'd be considered as an African American. So what? If this is the history they have been teaching us, if Christ would walk on the earth today, they call him an African American, what does the rest of the Jews look like? When you come on the TV today, the so-called Jewish people, are they white people? They are white people, right? Watch what the Bible say about the real Jews. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. He said, Judah mourneth. Now we're finna go into what the real Jews look like. Watch this. They are black unto the ground. He said, the real Jews are black unto the ground. Right. Now, don't, don't make me, don't get me mistaken now. He says, this is the most important information you can hear, because we're finna go into our Messiah. Let's find out what our Messiah look like. He said, the Jews are black unto the ground. 
This is the information we had not been hearing our whole life. God, I want you to point to Christ. I want you to point to Christ. I want both of y'all to point to Christ. You point to him too. You point to him the same way you point at? Watch this. No, don't go nowhere. You see this? Give me all Matthew 24. Because this is the deception. This is the deception of the white man. He taught his dish right here. Because you, when you came up here, what would you say your nationality was? Yeah. African American, black. That's probably what you would call yourself, right? Watch this. Watch what, watch what Christ said. Watch this. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So Christ, when he was walking the earth, he already gave them warning. He said, Hey, look, take heed that no man deceive you. Hey. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. I bet money, if you Google Christ right now, you're going to have many images of this white image coming up saying they are Jesus Christ, right? You can do it right, you can pull out your phone right now and Google it. You're going to have many images of the white Christ. He said, take heed that no man deceive you. Because many going to come in my name saying what? I am Christ. Watch this. And shall deceive many. He said he's going to deceive many. You know who he deceived? The so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, and the Native Americans. Because we walking around thinking that's the real image. We don't understand he got he for the tribe of Judah just like ourselves. We look just like Christ. We got Christ's blood running in our veins. And to prove that, Revelation 1 and 14. We can prove all things with the Bible. But they're not teaching us the Bible. They say the white the Bible is a white man book. The Bible ain't a white man book. The Bible is our book. You see that? Watch this. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now, it's giving you two descriptions of Christ. It said his hair were white and woolly. What nation of people got woolly hair on this earth? Yeah. Sister, right on the head. We do. We got woolly hair, right? We don't. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now he said his eyes were the flame of fire. He wasn't shooting no red beads out of his eyes. His first miracle turned a water into rock, a water into wine. It was prophesied his, his eyes would be red with wine. So we got the drinking right, or we turn if we get mad. What color would the white part of our eyes turn? It would turn red. There's two. There's two strikes against the image they always showed it during slavery, right? That's two strikes already. But that's two, that's two strikes for us saying what? He looked just like us. Really? And his feet. Now it's going into his skin color. It's going into, he said, now his feet. If y'all take your shoes off, I ain't got to look at the rest of your body. I can tell by, by your feet alone what, what color you, what kind of, uh, what type, what's your nationality just by your feet, right? Right. Really? And his feet like unto fine brass. He said his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? It's brown. It's brown. Let's see how brown our Messiah is. Wait. As if they burn in a furnace. Now you take that and you burn it in the furnace. If you take that and you burn anything in a furnace, what color is going to turn? It's going to turn black. So what color is Christ? What color is Christ? He's a black man. Right. He's a black man. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Just like yourself. So why they don't want you to know this? Proverbs 23 and 7. They don't want you to understand. Because as long as you thinking what? As long as you thinking that white man is your Christ, you're going to always look at yourself like you're just an African American. Right. You're going to look at your brother like he's just a nigga. Right. You're going to look at your sister like she's just like she less than there. Right. That's why we got single parent households. That's why we kill one another. Right. That's why we always that's why we tear down our communities and but we, we want to build up theirs. You see what I'm saying? Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23 and verse 7. Right. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. He said, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you walk around saying, I am African-American, not knowing that African and American is named after two different white men, you walk around saying, I'm two different white men. As you think of in your heart, so is you. You walk around calling yourself two different white men. You're going to act like you're going to act like a slave. 
You walk around with a slave name. And my bro, I want to ask you a quick question. What kind of condition do we stay in? What kind of, yeah, what kind of condition do we stay in? She, she hit it right in the head. She said poverty. Right? Now, every city you go to, what 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 are the blacks in the Spanish state? In the impoverished neighborhood. In the impoverished neighborhood. You know, we can prove that with the Bible. I want you to stand here and listen. All right? All praises. Now, look, I, since you're paying attention, that's a good thing. Matter of fact, 2 Chronicles 7.14. You know? Second, watch this. Watch this. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. You know, when, you know, when you listen, that's showing you what? That's showing you what? That you humble to hear the word of God. You too, sis. Because not everybody going to receive this. Not everybody going not, not to receive the word of God. Everybody got a chance to repent, but not everybody going to repent. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, and verse 14. You know? If my people, which are called by my name. He said, my people, which are called by my name. Who is called by God's name? 2 Chronicles 6 and 6. You know? Okay, the Bible is only for one nation of people. The Bible is not given to everybody. Right. It's only for one nation of people. And watch this. Second Chronicles chapter 6 and verse 6. But I have chosen Jerusalem, huh? but that my name might be there. And have chosen David to be over my people, Israel. He said, I've chosen David to be over my people, Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called blessed Hispanics and Native Americans today. Now go back to 2 Chronicles 7, 14. Read. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. He said they shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. You humble yourself by taking a moment and actually listen to the word of God. Okay, when you, I bet, do y'all pray at night? Y'all pray, right? You pray all the time. But you know, if you if you pray to God and not keeping his commandment, y'all know he's not hearing you, right? Y'all knew that? Let's prove it real fast. You know, John 9, 31. John chapter 9 and verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So God said he don't hear sinners. He don't hear sinners. So what is sin? If he don't hear sinners, we need to find out what is sin. Right. So we understand, like, okay, if you don't, if you don't hear sinners, I need to find out what sin is so I don't be a sinner, right? So what is sin? He said, what you do wrong, what you're supposed to do. So I'll pray. Well, we, let's get the let's get the correct definition according to the Bible. Watch this. Watch this. The book of First John, chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. So sin is the transgression or the breaking of God's laws. Right. So when you commit sin, you are you are actually breaking God's laws. Right. So sin is breaking the commandments. So that's what sin is. So God is telling you. When you are breaking his commandments and you are praying at night, he's not really hearing you. Right. So when you say, I, when I ask the question, what kind of condition do we stay in? You said a poverty condition. No matter what city you go to, where do the so-called blacks and Hispanics stay at? My sister, pay attention. Come on to the front and look at the sign. When I say, when I ask the question, where do we stay at? You said the so-called blacks and Hispanics, we stay in impoverished neighborhoods. It's because we are sinning against the Most High God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.